Welcome back to the show. Now we continue by talking integrity and it is the quality of being honest and showing a consistent and an uncompromising adherence to st a strong moral and also ethical principle and also values. We can't take that away. Now to enlighten us here this morning, we are joined that is by motivational speaker, Mr. Mind. Yes, you heard right. Mr. Mind, a very good morning, sir. How are you doing? Morning, 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 viewers. I'm, I'm doing fine. You're I'm in a good headspace. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Now, integrity is a very, it's, it's a very important topic that we're having here this morning. And it's not very, I want to say, I almost want to say it's not easy to possess this quality. You understand, you know? But it is a very important quality to have. Now, let's talk about integrity at work. What does integrity at work really mean and how important is it in the workplace? Um, in simple terms, uh, integrity talks about wholesomeness. You are one. Uh, you are not this, uh, this person this moment and then the other thing the other moment. It's, it's very important because at work we are required to be professional. And as a professional, you need to be consistent with what your promises are um, in line with your code of conduct. So now if you violate that, it violates the trust that the employer has with you and the colleagues have with you. So in, in, in a way, it will make it difficult for you to operate. Mm. Let's also talk about the traits that are actually associated with integrity. One of, one of it, it was uh, said in the introduction, you need to be honest um, to be able to be, to be, to be possessing that uh, um, quality, which is uh, integrity. You need to have grace. You need to be patient. You need to be accountable. You need to be transparent in a way that, you know, this helps other people to see the, the, the real meaning of the words that you, you give to them. Because mm -hmm. if you are not transparent, if you are not accountable, if you are not honest, it will make it difficult, for instance, if a junior come to be under your care, you would want to judge them based on where you are. But if you are honest enough, you would remember that you were once a junior, you did not know a lot. Mm. Therefore, you need to, therefore, um, stretch your hand to lift them up as you are rising. Mm -hmm. Now, I wanted to ask, actually, um, you did mention how this can affect uh, the rest of your employees, uh, right? Now, lack of integrity can both obviously harm empl uh, the, the, the employee as well as the institution. Now, what role does prioritizing integrity in a workplace, what role does it play? It, it helps to maintain order. Um, if you are all consistent with what you say, for instance, I will show up to work on time and I'll be able to deliver my assignments on time. That means the operation of that company or organization is made easier. Even the work of the next person in line is also made easier. But what happened is that most of the people are not consistent with what they promise. Mm. We are good at talking. We are good at promising, but it is too difficult to align our thoughts, our hearts, and our actions. Mm. Now, that is what makes it difficult, that two or three people who are not doing their job right, they make the whole organization look bad. And in a way, even the innocent one are now painted with the same brush, mm -hmm. which makes it very, very bad mm -hmm. for these other people to also excel. Yeah. I think also, I think we, we've earlier established in our conversation that honesty and integrity go hand in hand. Yes. It's almost like you can't separate the two, you know. But I want to know from you, Mr. Mind, which one is, 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 is more important to you, if we can say that? I think because we have already established that they are inseparable. Mm. If we say that integrity is more important than honesty, and honesty is an integral part mm. of integrity, then we violate the whole meaning of, of, of this concept. So I would say all of them are equally important. So what we need to do is that we just need to push ourselves mm. to be consistent with what we have said or promised. So it's not easy, but try hard. If you, you know, the good thing about being human is that if you did not meet the demand, you can still apologize mm. and you still remain relevant and not weak. Yeah, yes. and do better at the same time. You, you get better. Okay, now you spoke about painting us with the same brush because of a few individuals. Now we all lack integrity. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. How do we fix this? How do we foster this integrity in the workplace? How do we go forward now? We have got in every workplace something, a, a, a document called Code of Conduct. It is a map that guides us to say we can all fall short of um, characteristics to make us homogeneous. We are from different backgrounds. But for the sake of unity in this place, we are guided by the Code of Conduct. How often do we go back to the Code of Conduct and say, these are the expectation of the employer, and this is what I need to do. But most of all, leadership is key in every workplace. Most of the times, leaders say things they cannot do themselves. Mm. And that brings inconsistency, because if, you, if we cannot model, if we cannot learn from you, then it means you will teach us to misbehave, you will teach us to be inconsistent, and you will also teach us to distrust what you say. Yeah. And then it will make everything become, everything will become very um, challenging to handle. Yeah. Yes. I just wanted to say, I mean, if you're not going to lead by example, how am I supposed to take you seriously? And, and this is the biggest uh, challenge that we have as human beings. You know, authority makes leaders feel like they can do anything. They can, they can violate any laws. They can, they can, they cannot meet the promise and still look fine. Mm. But if someone under them does the same thing, then they are too quick to say they need to be punished. And this makes it very, very difficult. I think this topic have come at a very, very good time. Mm. We are in a season where the lawmakers to be in oh, 2025 wow. are out there making promises. The funny thing is that we make promises, we violate them, we remain in a sacred chamber called the August House and still wanting to pursue to make laws. So if you violated your words and you want to make laws, it, I, I don't know how we can trust you. Mm, it's uh, neither here nor there, hey? Now, okay, here I sit, Mr. Mind, as a motivational speaker. You're here talking to us about integ integrity on this Monday morning, which we need, <laughs> which we really need. Um, okay, so I'm lacking this integrity. What would you say to someone like me? I would say be human. Uh, we are created imperfect. So being human means you make progress every time. You don't practice to become perfect because you will never be. Mm. So just make progress. If you have faltered somewhere, go back to the team on time mm. and tell them I did not meet this for this reason. Give me this time and make sure that the second chance you are given, it is delivered based on the promises. Mm. That makes it easier. Yeah, I was wanting to ask also like, okay, fine, here we go. I keep making the same mistake. I keep apologizing, making the same mistakes. Am I also just being deliberate now? Uh, there is always time to everything. Mm. And uh, to everything we do, there are consequences. So if we give you eternity in terms of having to make the same mistakes, that means we are risking other people who also want to progress. So if we have given you grace, that means you need to work towards building that trust. You won't end it automatically. Do something that makes you make other people earn your trust. And if you continue, there is a, there is a clause in the, in the human resource policy that says if a person cannot consistently deliver, they are better laid off. Mm. And it is what it for is. For the sake of the business. Yeah, for the sake of the institution. And other generations yeah. to benefit from 100%. that institution. Yeah, so let's yes. just all pull our way to the staff, eh? Mr. Yes. Mahindu, a final note with regards to integrity. What are you leaving us with here this morning? I think we as people in Namibia and Africa, we need to have more people who pursue to become integral, to become one, to become wholesome, than having to hide behind excuses because we are in a beautiful space. We have all the endowment that God can ever think of or created. So if we just lift up that bar of integrity, we can do better and we can make our life easier for each other. Yes. Thank you for your time and thank you for being here this morning. Thank you so much. All right, there you have it. We are talking integrity here with that is uh, Agustinus Ngombe.